All right, Rudy, you guys started things off with uh, the team meeting. Uh, what was the general message, and what did you guys as players take away from what uh, Dwayne tried to tell you guys last night? Uh, it's just game time. That's what we got out of it. You know, uh, no more summer basketball. Everybody's here, so we're going to go to war with. So uh, whatever we do, just try to make sure it's all about winning. You, this is your first camp here, but how does this compare to uh, your first day of camp? It's all the in same. It's all the same. You know, it's all the same. A lot of running. A lot of uh, offense, a lot of defense, and it's all the same, man. This is number eight for me. Brody, both you and Kyle, the first words out of your mouth were the word winning. A as a competitor, how hard is it to fathom fans and people suggesting the word tank? Is that something that you guys can even fathom? No, no, no I'm a professional. Honestly, a professional. Every time I go out there, I'm going to give my all. And to even hear tank, it makes me sick in my stomach, to be honest with you. And I, no team that I'm going to be on is going to tank. We're going to try and win every game. The, uh, they want to they go out there to play. How nice is it to get a full camp now? I mean, when you get traded mid-season, there's always that adjustment period, but now you've, you've got all this. Oh, it means uh, it means a lot, man, just to be, be with the guys. You know, obviously last year, you know, we got we kind of learned on the, on, on the, on the roll. You know, a lot of things that we learned was just on the court. But uh, it gives me a chance to actually learn together with the other rest of the guys and some of the newer guys, the offenses, the ins and outs of it. Uh, defensive strategies and, uh, you know, just being teammates. You've been thrust into the role of leader, of course. Uh, you kind of the undisputed leader of this group. Did you take a chance to speak to the guys, or is that not much your style? You're just going to wait till things kind of happen? I wait till, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not the type of guy just, I, I don't want anybody to be tired of hearing my voice. You know, uh, we're already tired of hearing Coach's voice after the first day, so <laughs> that was a joke. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I'm just going. To, I'm just here to, to lead by example, and if I see something that needs to be addressed, if the coach doesn't see it, I'll, I'll address it. So it's not. It, that's just that's that's being a leader. It's not about you know just being being on guys you know every day you know, but if they need it, you know, just take a guy in the wing. What does it mean to have the same starting five back again and, and be able to build that chemistry? It means a lot. You know, uh, luckily in Memphis, I had I had the you know the pleasure of being with you know two. A great starting five for about four years, and we learned a lot together. So, you know, um, us being together for the second year um, may not be something that, you know, the Raptors are used to, but, you know, it, it happens around the league, and, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, we're, we're, we're planning on being better than we were last year. Coaches talked about uh, recommitting to defense this year. How much of a focus was that on, on day one? It was a big focus, you know. It's just picking up your level. Uh, you know, defense is all about competitiveness. And uh, as long as we stay competitive, we'll be, you know, and also stay true to our principles, we'll be a good defensive team. We heard you mention the 20 pounds of muscle yesterday, but we got a chance to see you on the court today. You look a lot significantly bigger. How do you feel running out there? I feel great, man. I feel great. We're running a lot. I hope I don't lose it. <laughs>